nobody really knows why 80% of women are initiating divorce. I would say it's probably a comfortable argument here that one of the major reasons why that could be cheated. the case is that well, I, I actually don't think the cheating matters all that much to women. I don't think really? they care all that with much. You. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think women cheating. care about the cheating mm. almost at all. Definitely not nearly as much as we think. Where are these? <laughs> no, I mean, like, look, I, I, I'm not saying that they're I'm not that, recommending yeah, it. No, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not advocating for it. I'm saying right. no, okay, it's not. not I think to your point, like, emotional work is required on behalf of both partners in any relationship. Yes, and so if sure. I am yeah. in a non-monogamous relationship, it is my job to work on myself and my own issues. And if my partner came home and he was like, yeah, man, that girl did it so much better than you did. Like, it's my job to to get be receptive better? to yeah, that. Like, break oh. break well, that well, down that for you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, get like, better? Yeah. You know, yeah. just like in a monogamous relationship, like it takes emotional work and, and yeah. labor and yeah. responsibility on behalf of both partners to sustain a long-term relationship. Yeah. It's yeah, the I same in that. non-monogamy. Yeah, I get that. That makes sense. Yeah, it just seemed like it's no icebreaker for that. <laughs> like, I mean, it's yes, like, you yes. know, eh, yeah, I like this guy, thing like that, but... I also want to do this. I just wish I could be a fly in the room. Like this, I want to hear how you break the ice, and to, and then what happens when again the other person? Not only do you feel a certain way, so does the other person. So right. now it's a mutual feeling between you and the outside person. And not only that, men, we are like we chase our bones. Mm -hmm. So if we want you generally speaking i'm sure a lot of men will talk we don't care about the other guy yeah like we don't we're not considering him like we don't care about that right so now i know i don't do the things that he's doing at home but i know i'm doing the sex part better so next time we have our moment i'm gonna do this <laughs> little different thing that i know you appreciate mm -hmm. at home and now it just creates this whirlwind of things so like a, a real well, conflict and, and that really works out for me because i'm not trying to be at home mm -hmm. like right if, if for for a man if you're trying to be the other guy you, you don't want all the extra stuff you don't want the emotional you don't baggage want the, you don't want yeah. you just want literally the sex, the sex right? yeah. and you're saying i can provide a better excuse my use of a language here but i think this is a good i can provide a better product than what you're mm -hmm. already buying yeah. right right and so I, and and maybe this is part and parcel to the conversation with Peggy. I think to some extent what you're experiencing from the room right now is that our experience with women is that 80-20. It's mm -hmm. that 80% of women are not going to be the type that would ever accept the idea of us coming home or us. Like even the concept of of actively saying another woman is attractive is a rare thing from a relationship perspective for most guys right very true but and i think it should be you think it should be acceptable i think we should be able like again it's that shadow of the i 100 all be able agree. to talk about yeah I, I i agree i think that I, I this is where i'm so aligned with you on this is i think that that level of openness is part of the reason why so many relationships fail mm-hmm mm -hmm. Right. It's it's because that doesn't exist. And it, this is an interesting stat. Uh, I believe it's 80 percent of all divorces are initiated by women. And the stat goes up to something like 90 percent of the women's college educated. Yep. And so that true. Right. I'm pretty yes. sure that's the exact right numbers, yeah. but I'd have to go double check. I, I know it's in that ballpark. Yeah, that's, that's a crazy yeah. stat. Yeah. That is yeah. crazy. So, yeah. It, uh, I think a lot of that comes from these types of conversations like it what level of openness of conversation exists such that these things are the way they are. Cause generally when that stats quoted, it's quoted from the perspective of, Oh, well women are looking for uh, m that more traditional structure of a relationship. And because women are achieving more now, it's harder to find the man who's achieving commensurate uh, to their achievement. And so that's why, like, that's generally how that stat is quoted. But nobody yeah. really knows why 80% of women are initiating divorce. I would say it's probably a comfortable argument here that one of the major reasons why that could be cheated. the case is that well, I, I actually don't think the cheating matters all that much to women. I don't think they care all that much. I don't think, I don't think women cheating. care about the cheating mm. 
almost at all. Definitely not nearly as much as we think. Where are these? <laughs> no, I mean, like, look, I, 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 I'm not saying that they're. I'm not they're, recommending yeah, it. No, I'm, yeah, not, yeah. I'm not advocating for it. I'm saying right. that, okay, no, it's not, not, very don't care. interesting. Don't care is a crazy statement. Yeah. I'm saying that I don't think that that is the reason why 80% of divorces are initiated. By I have a, a very strong belief in why it's mostly women. If I mean, this is Please. a little bit of a, a detour, but. Um, I think men are complacent because we grew up in our parents' age and our grandparents' age when you did not get divorced. And and my grandmother said this to her or said this to me like on her deathbed. She was like, if I can give you one piece of advice, it's don't ever be financially dependent on a man. Mm. My grandfather was an alcoholic. He was abusive. She should have left him 20 years ago, but she never worked and she had no money. And what was she going to do? And I think for so long, women have been stuck in these marriages and mm. we are finally equipped to get out and we're educated enough and we have experienced enough of the world to know that there is something better out there. Mm. The challenge with that is that the, the same is not true for men, right. meaning that the where women now that the traditionally speaking, and I think this is true now, actually, this is a, this is a data point that's true. So I can say it without offending you, hopefully. Um, Women choose on a few categories. Mm -hmm. the, the number one mechanism by which women choose a partner is the partner's ability to navigate dominance hierarchies. Generally, the partner's ability to navigate dominance hierarchies means two or three things. One, financially stable. Money. Two, some level of power slash protector. Sure. And three, some level of uh, emotional competence. Right? Those three things. Women generally make their decisions on men based off that. Men make their decisions on women based off of one thing. Looks. Yep. That's it. Yep. Right? That's how it works. Initially. Right? Yeah. So the, Initially, the yeah. fabric of our society is such that men are going to work their ass off to try and achieve status so that they can spend all the status points that they got on women who were beautiful or not. Right? Right. Um, and to your point now, here's what we've done. We've made it possible for women to counterbalance all three of those things because you can be well educated navigate the dominance hierarchy and achieve the the, the structure the safety mm -hmm. the finances the things on your own yeah. therefore the cost of leaving is much lower mm. yeah. but for men right mm. especially not wealthy not emotionally stable not emotionally mature men the cost of leaving is very high because I don't know that I'll ever get this again. Yeah. I could, I can agree yeah. with some of that. I mean, I think yeah. again, we're categorizing a lot based on gender and it's a, it's a bit of a narrow mindset, but yes, I think you're right. In I some don't ways. think I've ever heard it explained like yeah. that. It's